Welcome back everybody and uh, it's been a couple of weeks, three weeks about uh, since we did the last uh, uh, lessons from Harav Victor Miller as that's all and of course his Tony redeem and uh, I see it's already been uh, since last time we have uh, we had we finished a uh, great uh, day of uh, Tu Bishvat and uh, and Baruch Hashem uh, in the uh, Next week will be Rosh Chodesh Adar, so uh, we are fast approaching to Purim. The, the first thing I'm gonna do is, of course, continue the Getting and Staying Married the Sefer by Rabbi Benzion Griper. Uh, commandment, uh, fourth commandment. I, I forgot if I did, did that last time. Uh, I don't think so. Never mentioned the word get uh, get uh, uh, divorce you plant a seed in addition go to your mother or i'm leaving should never be said you break the bond remember get a rabbi marriage insurance on a regular basis fifth commandment be loyal the rav emphasized his encouragement again my wife is the best cook my husband is the best hazan if i am if a not nice word is said about your mate jump to the defense of your mate the main ingredient of marriage is loyalty to each other. This is your wife. This is your husband. It's not about love. It's your obligation. When you get married, you are in it for life, death, and forever in the world to come. So make the best of it. The Rav said that your Alam Hab is based on what goes on in the home. This is your Tikkun. Sixth commandment. Let mean words pass you by. Everyone has so-called stressful days and times. If it's your mate, let's, uh, let mean words fly over your head, leave your ego and on our side. It says in Masechet Sanhedrin that a person who lets evil words go by will have 100 blessings come his or her way. Don't get flustered. If you, if you control yourself, uh, you will see in a short time that your mate is uh, being nice to you. Let the, let the storm pass. You will gain everything. Seventh commandment. Don't say mean words. Uh, saying mean words or yelling or putting your mate down is like uh, lighting a match in the house. You are starting a fire. Never say you always or you never. That's why a man should be calm before he enters the home. Let him have a donut or take a walk uh, around the block. He must be calm. Uh, carrying a positive mood and become proactive when he enters. The wife should prepare and become calm. Uh, maybe even have a tea and cake ready for her husband. Give men a little space. Never say mean words. Eighth commandment. Love your mate like yourself. What you don't want done to you, don't do to your mate. Make your mate number one. The people who do this have created one of the foundations of marriage study this practice this ninth commandment don't uh, uh, dress this slovenly always try uh, to look presentable to your your mate you always have, want have to have a pos the positive image of your name mate it tells your mate that you care and it rekindles the original feelings Plus, it's important for the children to see you are the role models. It's hard, but it's worth it. Tenth commandment, don't be a tyrant. Don't say, get me this or get me that. Men or women don't, can be tyrants and make, and make the mate scared of them. In addition, a husband and wife who are trained in marriage and have a rabbi will also have successful families. There is an automatic pilot with everything, uh, w uh, with bringing up children, uh, the parents have must be proactive for their parents, children. Their constant encouragement, listening to ear, and relating the uh, model couple, uh, 365 days a year, will save your their children from uh, the desires, influences, and philosophies of the world. It's up to us. An uh, epilogue: the the sifa could be separate for married married couples and going to be married couples. Plus, it could be separate for men and women. It should be like the Shiyum Hashas, huge. 
Then it should be orchestrated in communities, yeshivas, besiakovs, and shoals. There has to be a system to continue the program for each couple for 120 years. The success in a Torah life and in our future existence depends on what goes on at home. A personal note, this system has been uh, used for thousands of couples. Plus, it has uh, turned the most difficult marriage situations and, uh, to homes with, uh, with children and grandchildren. The ones who have uh, clicked uh, in have uh, seen almost 99% plus uh, success rate. I personally testify. Let's uh, or organize the ASIFA now. We can uh, start small. It, it need be, if need be, in shows or communities and eventually affect the world. This is the key. Ben Sion Griper. Baruch Hashem, this uh, uh, booklet has been uh, finished. And uh, let's continue. The guidebook, to, the guidebook to gaining true and lasting happiness. Chapter 3. In Shul or Yeshiva for Shahrit. The morning service. As you walk into a shul or yeshiva before praying, Shahri, the morning's worship service, gives tzedakah charity. Ask Hashem for forgiveness for yesterday's misdeeds. You spoke Lashon Hara, forbidden derogatory speech. You've uh, uttered unkind words to your wife. Or you served uh, Hashem without joy and happiness. After denying tzedakah, ask Hashem that He will allow you to have a successful day today. Charity saves one from death. Uh, Mishli 10 uh, two. Rejoice in the good ver fortune. Consider just how fortunate you are to be able to come to Hashem's place of worship and learning. This is your Mishkan sanctuary, your Bet Hamidrash Torah study hall. Uh, Hashem's words, His Torah, are being given over to you here. Uh, accept the Torah again. We see uh, the uh, the Torah, the Jewish nation did. At Har Sinai, accept it and learn it. To learn to be in awe of it. Your Harav your, uh, or your, your Rosh Yeshua is your Moshe Rabbeinu. Hashem is always present. Remember that Hashem is right here beside you. Uh, become uh, aware of His presence. You are always in front of the King, the one and only great and powerful monarch. Use your sensory perception to recognize Hashem's. Presence. Reflect on a certain miracle that will demonstrate to you the fact that Hashem is present. For example, consider a miracle about the position of your teeth. The sharp teeth are in front of the, the in front in order to cut the food, while the molars are in the back in order to shop the food. The same precious miracle happened for everyone else in the congregation. Suddenly, your brain is working. Your eyes are seeing. And your heart is beating in a pumping blood to all parts of the body. Miracles, miracle of miracles. The same wonders are happening to your neighbors. Hashem's hand is evident here and now. Learn uh, before praying. Every morning set aside a center, a scheduled period of time. In order to learn before prayers, even if it is only just a five minute center, Mozart studies into uh, ethical behavior is preferred. A person must have a set time to study Musar daily. Mishnah, uh, Mishnah Berurah, uh, chapter 1, uh, uh, verse 12. Hamash, uh, uh, Mishnayat or grammar is also excellent. This will g give you an amazingly new outlook and additional uh, energy to, uh, b to begin your day. Even before praying, you will sense that you have lived the day uh, because you already accomplished something vital. The benefits of a Havruta. If you c can pr uh, procure a Havruta uh, learning partner, your progress will be even better. The encouraging and urging of each other will cause you in just a matter of a short time to transverse uh, tremendous ground in your Torah learning. However, it must be regular. You will you will finish studying a set of fair or or you will or you will complete learning a, a parak chapter in the Yamara. You just uh, cannot imagine what accomplishments those five minutes uh, each morning will occur over a period of just a few months. 
There's no good that compares to Torah. I wrote uh, 6.3. The greatest benefit that Hashem bestows upon us is the Torah, which was given to Moshe, his prophets. I wrote uh, 2.5. Yeah, preparing to pray. Take the following steps before praying to Hashem each morning. Uh, prepare uh, your mind uh, to utilize uh, techniques to uh, build and, uh, and improve the uh, awareness of Hashem. Uh, trying to try and uh, read, uh, try and try and rid your mind uh, of secure thoughts. Uh, get excited over the knowledge that Hashem loves you. Meditate on Hashem with a growing sense of awe and gratitude. You reflect the fact that you are about to have a one-to-one -one conversation with the creator of the universe wrap yourself in your toilet you spread out the heavens like a curtain to heal him 104 12 hashem is surrounding you and lovingly enwrapping you in his arms tefillin this is your special spiritual engine when you secure the uh, tefillin on your arm tell hashem that you will devote your arms your body and all your actions to serve Hashem. You you should also uh, you should also at this moment when uh, putting on your tefillin consider just how fortunate you are to have an arm and arm the elbow and the fingers when uh, putting the tefillin your spiritual antenna to Hashem on your head. I'll tell God that your mind will be directed to serve Hashem. Take a moment to reflect on the gift from Hashem that allows you to think how fortunate you are to have a normal healthy mind conclude by tying the straps around your fingers and thereby silently explain your willingness to tie my whole body and the salt to Hashem so, so much to consider there is so much to think to think uh, about uh, when uh, when you are praying Hallelujahs. With King David's Psalms, think, think, think. The Sidor has a wealth of knowledge. I meditate on the words. Subsequently, the words will elevate you. They will reshape your subconscious and simultaneously improve your Midod's character traits. Take advantage of the Sidor's plentiful spiritual jewels. Ashray, say it slowly and with proper Kavana concentration. You consider the meaning of every word. Feel the power of each word. Is it better to say less with Kavana than more without proper concentration? For example, when uh, saying, Fortunate are those who dwell in your house. Reflect on the fact that you are in the in the house of the creator of the universe. He truly loves you. Feel proud of the fact that it will make you happy. Another example is the first from Ashray that declares Hashem supports all uh, the fallen and straightens all the bands. Remember that it is the Creator who has taken care of you. He has continued to maintain your health and helped you out uh, of all your difficult situations. Also reflect on the verse. Hashem watches over all those who love Him. This should inspire one to uh, develop a greater love of Hashem. Baruch Think about all the wonders of the light. The sun keeps you warm, gives you light, cooks, uh, and bakes your vegetables and fruits. As mentioned before, if the sun were bigger, we would burn to a crisp. If it were smaller, we would freeze and become nothing more than just a round chunk of ice. Baruch Hashem, it is in the perfect position. These thoughts could, should culminate within with your reciting the Blessings, blessed are you, Hashem, creator of the luminaries. Consider just how fortunate we are to have Hashem's uh, Torah. And we have uh, have been chosen by Him to, as His special people. With an abounded love, you have loved us. Uh, Hashem's Torah has the answer for everything that affects our lives. It is the answer for, to life, for it is life. It keeps one away from evil people. It directs one to the best foods. It helps one to build and develop a shalom bias, peace in the home. Okay, well, uh, we're gonna take a break from uh, from uh, this sefer. Uh, we're in a, we went through uh, about uh, close to or more uh, the ha half of uh, chapter three.
continuing it the uh, next time. Baruch Hashem. The next thing is, oh, look at this uh, over here. Let's see what this is. Ah, oh, the 10 steps to greatness. Step one, spend at least 30 seconds each day thinking about all of our, the world to come and that we are in this world uh, only as a preparation to the world to come. This is the purpose. Step two, spend a few seconds each day in a private uh, place and to say to Hashem, I love you Hashem. You will be fulfilled, fulfilling a positive commandment from the Torah. This will kindle a fire in your heart and will have a powerful effect on your character. Your exteriority bestirs your inter inferior uh, interiority. Hashem is listening. He loves you much more than you love Him. Step 3. Each day do one act of kindliness that no one knows about in secrecy. Have intention beforehand that you are doing this in order to fulfill your program to greatness. Uh, the practice of doing acts of kindliness, Kemalus Hasidim, is one of, one of the three most important functions in the world. Examples, if you are first in the Besa Midrash, put the books in the proper order and place. If your wife is not in the kitchen, clean a few dishes or straighten up uh, her, her, for her without her knowing. If you should see something potentially dangerous on the sidewalk, clear it off. The side so no one will get hurt. Uh, step four: Encourage someone every day. Hashem encourages the humble. Here, in, here, have in mind you are doing it because of the program. Uh, anomalous letters of kindliness can be uh, can do a great uh, a great de a great deal of uh, good to encourage people. Step five. Spend one minute every day thinking about what happened yesterday. Let us search out the, our ways and investigate. Everyone should should have uh, in his mind uh, on what, what he is doing by reviewing yesterday's uh, actions uh, daily. Make all your uh, actions for the purpose of heaven. S say it once a day. I am doing this in order to be more aware of Hashem. Uh, step 7. Be aware of the... Uh, of the uh, principle, man was created in the image of Hashem. Mm, every uh, every human face is the reflection of Hashem. Your face is like a screen, and your soul uh, like a projector, which projects on your face the glory of the human soul, which has in it the greatness of Hashem. Once a day, pick your face and think, "I am seeing in the image of Hashem." You will begin to understand uh, endless nobility of a face. Step 8. Once a day, give a person a false smile. Just as Hashem shines on us, we should smile on others. Smile because Hashem wants you to, even though you are really don't want to. When you smile, you have intentions uh, that you are doing it for the purpose of, of uh, something close to uh, Hashem. Through the, the 10 steps to greatness. Step 9. Hashem closes the naked. Closing is a testament to the nobility of man. Man is unique, has free will, has a test of soul, made in the image of Hashem. Even angels are beneath man in greatness. To demonstrate the superiority of mankind, we must be closed. Spend 30 seconds in the morning thinking about our garments. What a gift that they are from Hashem. Say, Malbish, our name, he closes the naked uh, out loud. Step 8. Spend time each day thinking of the temple. Each day sit on the floor before you go into sleep. Spend one second on the floor and warn the destruction of the Jerusalem. Think if I should forget you, Jerusalem. Let my right hand forget. The wise man seizes the opportunity to do mitzvahs. King Shlomo, the lazy person, says, Someday I'll do it. Even if you start this program after 30 days, you will be tired. So wait six months uh, until you start again. Do another 30 days, then wait five months, and so on. After a while, you might uh, do it all the time. If you do it even one day, you are extraordinary. A token appreciation to our good, dear friends and supporters. Compliments of Yeshira Gedola of Israel. Now we're going to start a new uh, thing. 
a new booklet, Torah HaKohanim, Child Raising. I only have, uh, I have volume one, but only part two. Bizarre the shame one day I might find uh, part one. A treasure chamber full of treasure, questions with answers, Baruch Hashem. A new translation by Rabbi Ezra HaKohen. Most of these questions are from Rabbi Ezra HaKohen. And to separate between the living and the living uh, answers are from Harav Victor uh, Cohen Miller Zatzal, published through the work of Rabbi Ezra Cohen, uh, Chief Rabbi of Young uh, Piazza. Copyright 2017. Oral, co oral confirmations of my seraphim and on my nuances of Torah without an evil eye. The head uh, uh, rabbi of uh, Mir Yeshiva, uh, Rabbinical College, Harav Hagan, Rabbi Shmuel Bernbaum, etc., said, I my nuances of Torah and my seraphim several times, may your wellspring flow outward, which means that my seraphim should be published. And this uh, rabbi also told me, me to publish my Sefirim Amen. Another head of uh, rabbi, uh, a head rabbi of Mir Yeshiva is Rabbi Herschel Zalti Shlita. They said to me that I should go ahead to further to publish my Sefirim. Rabbi Zalti uh, wanted to pay me twenty dollars for one of my Sefirim in order to encourage his return from me. A separation from the living and the living. Harav Hagaon, uh, uh, Rabbi Shraga Moshe Kalmanowitz. That's all for him. Rabbi of, of Mir Yeshiva, Rabbeinu College, who picked up one of my seraphim from the floor and he kissed my sefer. Rabbi Hagan, Don Halevi Sigal Shlita, who said that my nuances of Torah, that, uh, they are not uh, only just good, uh, that they are very good and excellent, amen. Further oral uh, confirmations on my seraphim and my nuances of Torah, Kain Ayn Harav Hagaon, Rabbi Avadi Yosef Zatzal, said about my seraphim that they are fire of fires. And the rabbi also said about my seraphim are like a flaming fire men. Further oral confirmation of Harav Hagaon, Rabbi Victor Hagaon Miller Zatzal, the Mishkir of Yeshua Bet Israel. Rabbi Miller Zatzal said to my me several times, may your wellspring uh, flow outwards. Rabbi Miller Zatal said this to me in front of witnesses. That I should uh, go further to publish my seraphim. Amen. Child raising. A parent or a teacher should never discourage a boy or a girl. For example, my grandfather, the father of my father, Harav Hagan Yehuda Haim Hagan Zatal, was a very great rabbi, and he wrote six or seven seraphim on Kaval. A man told me. You are nothing compared to your grandfather. I was about uh, 18 years old when that man told me that. I did not get this discouraged because I thought I am very young and I can do a lot. Now with the help of Hashem, I wrote without an evil eye more than uh, 100 suffering on almost every subject of the Torah. I did not get discouraged when that man said I am nothing but sometimes even gifted sides, the boys or girls who are told that I are nothing will believe that the that and they will not try to do good things. It's also uh, true that uh, boys want to be like uh, their fathers, and also girls want to be like their mothers. I also heard from uh, my uh, rabbi, uh, Rav Avigdor Miller, Colin Zatov, that the uh, children uh, learn much more from their parents' deeds, much more than the, they are taught. So, because of that, uh, every parent should be a very good role model, model for their children. And all the, also, the boys and girls should be as to help the father and also their mother, even if they do not uh, need uh, any help. And the uh, parents should uh, praise the sons and daughters to tell them that they are good and never held back their love uh, from them, from their uh, sons or their daughters, to praise Hashem for helping me to write and to finish the, the Sefer. It is my will that all my, of the Rosh Yeshiva, Shlita, and all of the Bani Yeshiva should have a good year. Harav uh, Ezra Cohen. The love, uh, the love uh, of the uh, from the parents. Uh, all children, uh, boys and girls, love their parents. Also, they need to love uh, 
need the love of their parents. It is also forbidden for the parents to tell their children that they do not love them. The reason for this is that if they hear that several times they will uh, start to think, think that the, this is true, that their parents do not love them. Then God forbid these children will start to be far uh, away from their parents and the uh, children uh, will not uh, listen to their parents. Just, uh, just as the uh, opposite, that their parents must tell their children that they, they do love them. That even when they break uh, sometime, uh, something by the uh, by the parents doing th this, they will uh, come close to their f father and their mother and they will uh, listen to them so that they will not cause problems to them. I also heard from my Rabbi uh, Zatal that it is much better for for children to go to sleep early at night, better than the children eating a lot of food. The reason for this is that uh, getting enough sleep for children helps them to become settled to learn Torah. Also, enough sleep for for children, to, the, this gives them strength and also to prevent children from getting sick. This will also give them a healthy soul and a healthy body, just as the Rambam Zatal said, the rules of being a, a, a healthy. That in order to serve, to serve Hashem, a Jew and also a Jew must, must have a healthy body. The parents should be concerned that all of their children should be home at the time that their children are supposed to sleep. The father or their mother should also be home in the morning when their children wake up. They should be also escort them to the yeshiva after they will be under their teacher's care. Do not leave them alone. In the street, do not let them uh, make friends from the street. Serve Hashem of happiness. It is uh, it is a very big mitzvah to uh, serve Hashem of happiness. If the Jews do not do the uh, service of uh, Hashem of uh, of happiness, there's there there is on this a uh, punishment. Just as it is written in the Torah that this is the punishment because the Jews do not serve Hashem of happiness and also uh, with a good mind. That is the reason why it it came upon yeah, upon the, the curses that are written in the Torah. Don't forbid. However, besides this, to if their parents do not serve Hashem uh, with happiness, also their sons and their daughters will not accept the Hinoch education instruction to help, and they will not want to f f f fulfill afterwards the Torah and the mitzvot with the excuse that their parents suffered and that they were not happy to fulfill the laws of the Torah. And we do not want to suffer like them. I also heard from my teacher in Rav, Rav Avigdor Miller, that uh, he said that how uh, was it possible that so many uh, Jewish pe people died and they were killed for Kiddush Hashem to cause Hashem to be totally sanctified and also they let themselves be killed for even the smallest transgression sin uh, of the Torah? The answer is that they so by their parents and also by grandfather or up to our father Patriarch uh, uh, Abraham as that's how uh, that he g gave his life to enter the great fire in order to prove that Nimrod that Hashem is the only God and also further on that he gave over to his son Yitzhak uh, and to uh, to Yaakov our father just uh, how they served Hashem with love and uh, also with happiness. Uh, we, therefore, they give this over their power and it is in our genes that also to us that we should be able to serve Hashem with love and also with happiness and joy up to actual self-sacrifice. Thank you very much for hearing today. That'll be it uh, for today. Uh, Shabbat Shalom and uh, I, oh wait, it's too early I guess uh, for Shabbat Shalom. <laughs> But uh, have a wonderful day.